Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Violet and today I wanted to do a somewhat quick video on deleting your controllers from your PS4. See, my issue is that my PS4 is not picking up my red controller nor my clear and white controller. It completely forgot them and I wasn't able to turn on my PS4 using them. So I googled and YouTubed a few things and found that I could hook up a USB um, keyboard to it. Well, I did that and it wasn't doing anything. I was stuck on the screen that says, you know, push power on your controller to access, you know, your PS4 and nothing was happening. I was really frustrated and it took me two days to kind of just leave it alone and try to figure it out. Well, today, I don't know how my PS4 turned on and I got to where I could choose my profile and using, of course, the arrows on my keyboard, I was able to get here so I can get to the settings. So, we're going to press enter on the settings, we're going to go down to devices, enter, Bluetooth devices, enter, and I have, for some weird reason, all these things, and I, ha I already deleted like three of them. So, I'm going to delete them all and see if I can reprogram my controllers. So, we're going to hit enter, and then I got to a bit of a, a snag here. I needed to get to the options menu. So I had to Google that and it turns out it is F3 right there. F3 brings up the forget device. We're going to hit enter and then arrow. We're going to hit OK. Then that's what we're going to do for every single one of these. And I guess I'll be back. So now that I'm done clearing everything except my keyboard, what I'm going to do is try to reset this little guy here. It took me a couple of tries, but I figured it out. So I left it connected as far as the controller. Now that I'm trying to reprogram it back to my PS4, I left it connected with that black wire, right? Your micro USB. Um, it's blinking right now. What I did was I held the share button and the PS4 button for about 10 seconds until it actually came up on my screen. So, let's hit enter. Do you want to register this Bluetooth device? Yes. Alright. So, let's see if it works. Oh, it works! I'm using my controller! Check it out! Oh, finally! Oh my god, I can't believe I did it. I'm such a like super not tech savvy person, but I did it. I'm so proud of myself. Well, there you go. Um, that is basically using the keyboard to your PS4 to get that going. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier or if I'm going to have to edit this, but what I did is I used this reset pin and you could use a paper clip or the SIM tray key that Samsung devices like Samsung phones come with. Um, you just flip your controller over to the back in that little pinhole right here next to the screw. You're going to hold that down for 10 seconds, reset your controller, and then hit the share button and the power button together until it flashes or until you see it come up and register as a Bluetooth device. That's what I did, and I did it just now. Um, I wish I had been recording, but I can't do two things at once. If you know me, you kind of know that's true. But um, there you have it. I hope this was helpful. If it was, you know that I try to do helpful videos. That's like my thing. So if you like this video and you learned something, hit the like button. If you didn't and you already knew, I don't know what you're doing here. But um, if you're cool, hit that subscribe button. And hopefully I will see you soon on another video.